Hello, this is Cindy, and no, this is not a craft room tour, but I wanted to show you my very cleaned off desk. This is my craft space, and this is what it pretty much looks like just before I start a new project. And today, what I'm going to do with you guys is go through setting up a brand new project and all the steps that I go through in order to do that. So I'm going to be stopping and starting this video a little bit as I go ahead and find the materials that I need and that I want. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Started. All right, so this particular project, I'm. it says Travelogue Journal de Voyage Craftsmith. This was a $3 pack at Michael's this week. They're clearing out a bunch of their old big packs. And when I think that at one time I was paying $20 for a, a big pack of 12 by 12s, this was $3. So I couldn't leave it on the shelf. I thought, okay, I think I need to bring that home. It's 48 sheets, lots of different pieces. Um, they're 12 by 12s. And there are at least two of every piece that's in here. So the first thing that I did was I went through and I pulled out pretty much one of everything. So, but then once I did, I realized I had blue and I had brown. Let me get down to my browns. And I decided I liked the browns but for this particular project better than I did the blues. And I'm, I am not... Now these are designed so that you can put the blues and the browns together as you can see. I'm not a big fan of blue and brown together. They're just, I don't know, I think it goes back to the 70s when we had a blue and brown couch in the colonial style overstuffed that really silky, yucky polyester fabric cover. Ugh, and I hated that couch. Um, and I think because it was shades of blue and brown. It might be why I don't like blue and brown together. So I'm going to cut these out and I do want to show you these are the big pages and I took one of everything. I will cut them up and maybe I'll use some of them differently than what they have them here. I don't know how I'll use them but then you know you've got the big strips. Those will be nice for like sides, some cards, um, and then another pack of cards. So these are the papers that I'm going to use. Let me set this aside. And now I know my color scheme. My color scheme is, I'm going to set all of these aside because I don't want to deal with them right now. My color scheme is primarily beiges, um, kind of vintage. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six pages I don't know how I'll use that one yet, but I've got six pages that I can use for my signature. I'll cut those down in a bit. I won't do that, the cutting down on camera, but I have these pieces. And I'm actually going to put this one up because I like the colors in that one the best. So six pages is not enough, so I need to add to it. So let me add some coffee dyed. These are a couple of extra pages that don't belong here at the moment. Um, so I have this sheet, which, you know, I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. I have a coffee dyed coffee filter. I have a piece of lined paper. I have a regular sheet. It's got a little bit of fancy stuff on one corner. Um, I have a little lined paper that looks like I put a coffee mug on it. I have some stained graph paper. This is just a plain sheet of regular paper and then this is a legal size sheet with some pattern on it. So these, this will make up my signature. So that, so I've gathered all of this and got gathered all of this. Now I have to think about a cover. What do I want to do with a cover? Lately I've been doing sewn covers so I wanted to find materials that would fit these colors. And I found this piece of linen. I have used this on a cover before. Um, this was, 
obviously stained. Used to be a tablecloth. I've used a piece of it before. I'm thinking that'll make a nice cover here. I'll use another piece of it, but I need something for the inside cover. I could use the same material, but that's bland. I found this at, uh, it's a Crafter Square piece from the Dollar Tree, so this cost me a dollar and a quarter, um, which I probably will use on the inside cover. I haven't completely decided that yet, but gathering materials. That's probably my cover. These are my sheets. So what else am I going to need? I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. So let me set this stuff aside and I'll be right back with what I'm gathering next. All right, so I've gathered a few things together, but I wanted to show you, this is my pile of boxes. These I use on my desk and I will be filling them up over the next few minutes, or at least some of them up, uh, with the pieces that will be, I will also be using for here. So I'm gonna set those aside, but you're gonna see me pulling from this pile as we go through. This is my set of papers. I wanna put that one on top because I wanna be able to keep in mind the color scheme that I'm going for. I did pull out my tickets. These are the brown tickets that I have had um, and have been using. These are from Junk Journal Studio. Those are the large tickets and these are the smaller tickets. Same thing, same. If, if you order from Junk Journal Studio, this is the days of your uh, labels and these are they come you get like six sheets of them and they come in small medium and large sizes I've divided them up pretty much small and medium and then large in here so I have those I also have notice this says travel so this is an envelope I have an entire filing system I'll show you that this is one of the things I started with it's a box of envelopes and it says clocks and sunflowers. Sunflowers is a journal that I'm going to work on soon. Victorian, uh, words, alphabet, animals, birds, blue, books. You know, there's all sorts of things in here. And so I went through it and I pulled out the one that says travel. And uh, in here are a whole bunch of things related to travel. So I'm not going to pull anything particularly specific out of there right now, but I am going to grab one of my bins. I like this bin for this sort of thing. And put that there, because that's one of the things that's definitely going to be used as we go through. So now I have a bin of that. All right, next up, washi. I need to get my washies. Now I have a lot of washi. I like these. They fit the right colors. So I want to keep those out. But what I really want is my washi bin. Hang on, let me go grab it because I don't have it with me right yet. All right, my washi tray for the table is not fancy. This is from an Oreo package. This at one time held chocolate Oreos. And you know me, I like Oreos. So as far as colors go, um, that has maps on it, so I definitely want that. This is labels, so I think I'm going to want that. These are nice shades of brown in a nice pattern. I may or may not want that. This is ads, maybe. We'll see. That's a nice brown, but a very thin brown, so I definitely want that, and I want this one. Those are two slightly different shades of brown. All right, so we'll leave those. I have scissors. Oh, I definitely think I'm going to want that one. That's actually from another roll. We'll probably find the other roll of that in a bit. All right, so we'll close this one up. This is just a nice little container. I think I picked that up from uh, a... Um, what you call it, a thrift, thrift store. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I have bins of washi. Let's set this aside so we can get in here and see what's in this bin. So I have a lot of golds. Don't know that I want so much in the way of golds. I have a nice brown here that is not wanting to come out real well. There's a brown for that. 
A lot of these are flowers, some gold. I don't know that I want a lot of flowery stuff. I have some others that I have to refile that I will not be using for this particular project, but we'll put that there. Okay, hopefully I'm not sending my uh, autofocus completely out of whack here. Oh, that one has maps on it. Definitely want that one. Um, what's here? That's flowers. Don't want that, but I do want this one. That's ads. This is the same thing, but slightly different color. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it out at the moment. Some keys. Don't know if I want those. Definitely some tickets. And there's a lot of brown flowery stuff in here, but I don't think I want it. And some brown um, writing. Yeah, we're not done. I have way too many washies. This one, however, nope, these are none of the right colors. So we'll just put that one back and put these two back and put this one back, which also doesn't have any of the right colors in it. And we'll put that on there. And now my washies are set. So as I start to create, my washies that I might want to use are already here. They're already set. I also got out ribbon. This is brown ribbon. Now that one's a little bit orangey. I'm not sure that I want that one. This is a nice beige. That's a nice beige. That's a, I've got some oranges in here that don't really belong. Um, let me pull all those out and refile those in a minute. I have some nice off-white here that's sari silk. I have a nice big wide brown ribbon. I have this brown ribbon and this tull. What is that? That's more of the tull. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep out that beige. I'm going to leave in. I don't need to keep all the tull out because I'm sure I won't use all that much. Okay, these are more oranges. We're going to keep those aside. All right, pausing to grab the next piece that needs to come out. Okay, so I found a couple more pieces of ribbon in a different bin. I'm going to grab one of these. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree and I have used them in the past. It's just a little bit of webbing kind of stuff. So I'm going to put all of my ribbons in here. Now I would put laces in here as well, but I don't really have anything in the brown laces. I do have a lot of off-white but I'm not going to pull those out separate at this point. When I get to the point of doing laces, I will pull out my entire drawer of off-white and go from there. So right now, this is my ribbons. So I have my ribbons. I have my washi. I have my labels. And I have my travel little doodads that I have found as I've gone along. So we're good. We're in good shape here. All right, what else? Ah, and I'm dropping bins on the floor. So what else might I need? Um, I'm thinking. Okay, last few pieces here. Um, so I pulled out my tissue paper. And um, the, the, I have tissue paper in three different sizes. I have a, uh, small pieces, medium pieces, although that's a little piece that's in there. And then I have larger pieces in a 12 by 12. So those actually sit beside me. I can pull from those whenever I need them. Stickers plus maps. I have a little bit of a map here. Um, I have other maps in other places. But I have all these stickers from various places and whatnot. So I will probably use a bunch of stickers. So I have stickers to play with in creating things. And then the last thing I pulled, well, actually, the second last thing that I pulled out are my stamps. So I just got this one from, this is from Recollection. So that's Michael's. It says $5. It was on clearance. I think I actually paid a little less than that. But there's a globe, a couple different globes, some point, you know, just some, some travel stuff. So that'll be fun to play with. This says the word travel on it. Probably won't use any of the other summer things, although maybe the palm tree. I picked this one out because I like the bicycle. 
Um, it might be kind of fun to do like methods of transportation type thing. This has a French stamp on it. It has the Eiffel Tower down here. Uh, so that might be kind of fun to play with. This also has some stamps on it. There's the Eiffel Tower in two different places here. So I don't know, maybe I'll do a Paris page. We'll see. I picked this one out. The Crafter Square, by the way, is from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so it is, or Dollarama, or if you're up in Canada. This has a cute little jalopy, and I thought I might like the jalopy and the uh, hot air balloon, methods of transportation. I'm really thinking I might do that. And then I picked up some generic ones. This is just some generic writing and tickets and forms and a couple of phrases. That So those are things that I may or may not use. And these will all go in here. I'm going to put those all in here so that as I start creating things, I have those to play with. And the last thing I picked out were two pieces of chindi cloth that I can use either as a wrap for this, or I can use it as a fabric flip. I'm leaning towards this one. I pulled this one out as well because I kind of liked the circles. They kind of look like globes or moons. Um, but I'm really kind of leaning towards this one. So we're going to put that up here. The other thing that I pulled out, but I have not filled yet, I have not pulled out any pre-made journal cards. I have lots and tags, but I'm not pulling any of them at this point because I need to see how this shapes up because I don't know which ones I might want. And I have a lot of them, so I don't want to go through all of them at this point and then end up putting them, you know, all but two of them back. So I'm going to wait on pulling journal cards, but finished journal cards will go in here. And we're going to make some journal cards out of the remnants from here anyway, and then those will go in here as well. So I pulled this so it's nice and ready to go. All right, I'm going to spend some time cutting these things up and getting my signature put together. In the meantime, I hope you're having a good time watching all of these. And please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you like them. I hope you're watching all the way through. Put me on while you're crafting, while you're gathering your own materials. Let a video play through. Uh, I am trying to get my watch hours up. I am very close. I only need a thousand more watch hours and I could start offering some goodies to you guys. So in the meantime... Enjoy your day, enjoy your crafting, and this is Cindy signing off.